All right, guys, I'm going to get right to it because I realize people don't always watch the entire video on YouTube. So it's always best to dive right into what you're talking about, you know, the meat and potatoes. So let's get to it. What you're seeing on your screen here is the trailer for the original long shot that was introduced on Madden 18. Now, the reason why I'm showing you is because I want you to keep this in your mind. I want you to keep long shot in your mind as I tell this story. But it's very, very important. Okay, so when Longshot was introduced, this is the year 2017. I was down at EA Tiburon, you know, doing my normal thing. You know, I'm fortunate enough to get invited to community events, you know, throughout the year. And you guys know that. And we're giving that feedback. And we're sitting in what's called a post-mortem. This is where you give the developers and others your opinion. And I'm sitting in there with a few other franchise guys, you know, very prominent franchise guys, at least in my opinion. Y'all might not even really know these guys. Uh, Shopmaster was one of them, but some of the others, you guys probably don't know them publicly, but they're very, very involved with franchise mode. We're sitting in that room, and there's a few guys that are high up on the food chain that are in this room and it, it's full, full of developers and or higher ups. And they asked if we had any feedback. And you know me, I stood up right in front of everyone. And I quote, I said, this is a bad idea. This is an extremely bad idea. I was asked, why do I feel that way? This is what I said. I said, clearly, the industry is going in a direction where you're creating your own player and you're living out a story. I referenced NBA 2K. Clearly, NBA 2K understood what certain, you know, a certain crowd of gamer would want. And they created the My Career and, you know, you play out your story and you see how far it has advanced now to where you can play on the park or you can play in the league or... You know, you can do pro-am, et cetera, et cetera. So I said to them, first of all, as a hardcore franchise player, this is not what I necessarily want in Madden. I don't want this at this moment. I understand what you're trying to do, but you need to understand that franchise mode as a whole is severely, I mean, seriously lacking. This appears to be a slap in the face to some of us because we've been asking for a lot of upgrades in franchise but yet you're going to go this route and create your my career so oh wait a minute let me correct myself this was another part of the story no this is not my career i also st stood up there and said this you're creating a telltale story this is nowhere close to what the industry is doing this is nowhere close to what your, let's say, arch nemesis is doing in a 2K because we all know the battle with NFL 2K and NFL, you know, Madden's NFL product, Madden 05 at the time. So it's always going to be your arch nemesis. This is nowhere close to what they're doing with my career. Why are you trying to strike lightning in a bottle, right, and try to go this completely different direction instead of just copying what they're doing? Yeah, I said that. You might as well just copy what they're doing and do it in your product. You might as well just revamp what you once had, which was called superstar mode. Why don't you do that? Instead of giving this crazy telltale story that is not going to be successful. It won't be successful. Those were my words. You're going to find out there's many people that are not going to appreciate that, right? Fast forward to where we are now. There is no long shot. By the way, I was told at that time that long shot was a three year plan, right? And within those three years, and shout outs to Rex Dixon. I always got to give Rex his credit. You know, Rex a lot of times saw eye to eye with us in terms of what the game needed in terms of simulation and modes, et cetera, et cetera. The conversation at that point was what we plan to do is basically merge these 
these two modes together where it will get to a point where whatever you see in long shots you'll see in franchise i was still upset because i didn't want long shot at the time but i said okay wow three years from now okay I hear you, but it's good to hear that at least we're going to finally get some of those aspects. Now, think about some of the things that were in long shot. Think about how they taught you how to throw the ball and, you know, the seven on seven, all of these little things, you know, the classroom setting, all of these little things that you could incorporate in standard franchise. And I'm talking to my franchise heads, those of us who want just as much thing, you know, just as much you know, depth off the field as we have on the field when we're, when we're playing a franchise. Think about all the little sprinkles that you saw in long shot that could be in a standard franchise mode. Never happened. Never happened. They scrapped long shot after two years. Why? Probably wasn't successful as they thought. It probably was an epic fail. So what is Usher then after that? face of the franchise which is not even close to what superstar mode was yeah i said it was what they once had nowhere close but why do i emphasize face of the franchise here's the reason why isn't it funny that EA would appear to be trying to chase the audience that NBA 2K has with my career, right? It appears that they're doing that, but here's the funny part. Guess what, EA? Your playable online franchise mode is standard franchise. Oh, oh no, wait, I'm saying it wrong. Classic franchise. Your online version, online playable version, a franchise is classic franchise. This is where you lose to 2K and where you're going to continue to lose to 2K because they're so far beyond. My career is able to be played on and offline in multiple different ways. You can go on the park, you can play in Pro-Am, or you can play in the NBA face of the franchise is nowhere close to that even in its second year as we see that it's it's still it is still at this point the focus clearly if you take a look briefly at what was posted today as far as franchise clearly you see the list is a lot bigger and i'm not even going to waste my time going through each thing i'll let you see it here as it scrolls up and down the screen but even look at the things that they're putting in face of the franchise that we could probably use in standard franchise. I don't think they really care about classic franchise. It's clear. But my question is why? People always say, oh, Mutt killed the game. Nah, nah. I'm not gonna give EA that excuse. You know why? Because you know who else has an ultimate team, but they find a way to have a lot of depth in modes? Yeah, you guessed it. 2K. 2K not only has a ultimate team in their my team, but again, they have an extremely robust franchise experience. Okay, so the knock is going to be, oh, well, you know, 2K's online isn't as good. Okay, but I heard they improved that. I heard it was improved for 2K20. I don't know that to be a fact. I don't play online as far as franchise mode in 2K. But I heard it was actually playable. But even if you want to, you know, take that away from them and say, well, you know, it's mostly deep offline. Okay, well, won't you give that same depth to the Madden players? Because there are some people who enjoy playing offline. What about the content creators? What about guys like Mr. Hurricane? Got to give my man a shout out. What about guys like that? Wouldn't it be great for him to have extremely, you know, an extremely deep mode to further entertain his fans? What about guys like my, my buddy Deuce Douglas? Okay, channel might not be as big, but doesn't matter. I love what Deuce does, but Deuce has to do all of this separate work 
to even make it look presentable as far as different mockups and screens. He does that on his own to present it in a, in a nice looking way. What about guys like me? Somehow I continue to do an offline franchise to entertain those who want to view it. Tie it into the whole Steelers thing that I do with my Steelers podcast. And I try to give Steeler Nation, you know, a virtual experience. Wouldn't it be great if I could have as many, you know, things to do offline as you would in the real world? And again, I know it's a video game, but can I get some depth? The franchise mode built this game. Franchise community built Madden to where it is today. But here we are again after being told last year. Do you guys remember? Yeah, franchise is a focus. Yeah, but you know what? That's that corporate talk. Because what they're going to say from a corporate standpoint, face of the franchise is franchise. Remember I told y'all that when that first blog came out? And they talked about the reveal of Madden 21 and gameplay and features and franchise. And I said then, why is it when they refer to franchise, all we see is face of the franchise? That is a red flag. Didn't I say that? Some of you guys held out. Some of you guys was holding out for hope. But I told you. Just kind of understanding how things work from me being, you know, behind the curtain. And again, this is not a shot at the developers. Most of us love NCAA for its online dynasty. Ben Hamiller, you know him? Y'all remember Ben? Yeah, he works on the Madden team. So you're not going to sit here and tell me that the developers don't have the ideas and the developers don't want to do certain things. No, it's the bosses, but I'm tired of it, man. Even with me having this affiliation that I have, I'm sick of this, I'm sick and tired of this. And it's time for us to demand more. And I mean, really demand more. We, we got to be very vocal and maybe they'll change it. Maybe they won't. But it's time to really, nah, it's time to really stand up, man. Because this is ridiculous. What's being offered in franchise mode this year is nothing but a patch. A patch. That's why I'm not even going to waste my time even reading the bullet points. No real features. No real upgrades whatsoever. But this is what I'm saying, man. Those are the decisions that are being made up top. Oh, let's do long shot. That'll get him. Oh, long shot didn't work. Uh, let's do face of the franchise. Let's, let's copy 2K. Yeah, yeah, you copied them. But you still ain't nowhere close to what you can even do in face of the franchise to what you can do in my career. Nowhere close and ain't even close to superstar mode. That is an embarrassment. And all we ask for are the simple, essential things to franchise. Robust scouting. Contract negotiations. Some type of training camp. Those are just minor things. I'm not even going into the deep things that people talk about. These are the simple things. And when you talk about contract negotiations, I say this a hundred and a hundred thousand times. I say this. Think about how you did pitches in NCAA and how you had to woo guys and how you had to, you know, find out what was the most important to them and how you ranked to those things and you don't have none of that in Madden. How different would it be if you had to consider all of those things when you're trying to re-sign somebody or you're trying to bring in a free agent and you got to find out what's important to them? Mind you, these things were done by EA Sports. 
years ago. If it wasn't in Madden, it was in Head Coach 09. That's why this is completely unacceptable. Completely. It's ridiculous. The franchise crowd is being played like a fool. Point blank, period. And here's another thing that I would love to see in the game. And this might be a little more in depth, but what about wear and tear on the body? Progressive fatigue. Shout outs to Shopmaster. He always says that. Once again, this is something that was in Head Coach 09. But what we get is morale that we really don't know how it plays out. Confidence, which we really don't know how that plays out, which I believe morale replaced. You see what I'm saying? The simple things. I'm not even talking about every single bullet point off of my man Deuce Douglas's mock-up. I mean, incredible. But we ain't got a fraction of that. We don't even have mass subs. Something I talk about every year that's in NCAA. This would be great for preseason. Why can't you do a mass sub for your second and third team? Why can't we even get the depth charts right? Where everybody has seen this situation, how come when you're in a 3-4, which I play with all the time, why is it always a tight end that ends up, I mean, a linebacker ends up as a tight end in some situations in preseason? Or only the, the starting linebacker leaves if you have, you know, four middle linebackers. One of the starters always remains. It's, it's the little stuff. And this is what I'm saying, man. This is ridiculous. Point blank, period. Ridiculous. And I'm not going to let another year go by without me really, really voicing my concern. Regardless of what this is going to do. Some people might be pissed off. I don't care. We have the right to be pissed off. Because you're clearly showing us what time it is. And this is the only football product that we have. You would think. You would think that they would try to give everybody what they want. When you're the only product. The only one. You would think you would try to make everybody happy so you could get all the money. But there's millions of people who still don't buy the game. And I don't blame them. If you compare the numbers from 2K5 and Madden 05, where are all those 2K5 people? Where are their money at? Have you ever thought about that? And what is the one, one of the things that people talk about the most about 2K5? Not just the gameplay, because let me tell you something, Madden 05 had good gameplay. But they talk about the depth and immersion. Something that 2K still has in their current basketball product today, which they are the only basketball game, by the way. Because, yeah, that other game that's made at Tiburon, yeah. Yeah, we all know. So that's it, man. I felt like I needed to say this. Whatever it's going to do, I don't know. But either way, I was going to voice my opinion. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous, and it is a tragedy. A slap in the face to the franchise community who has been back in this game for years. Because most of the people who are complaining today, most of us would say, man, we've been playing Madden for over 10 years, over 15 years. Guess what? Guess what was not in the game then? There was no ultimate team. So what were people playing all that time before online was an option? What were people playing to take your game to the level it is now to become a household name? You guessed it. It was couch play and franchise mode. That's all I got to say, man. That's all I got to say. And I'm going to find a way to get this video to who, who needs to see it. Decision makers. 
Shout out to all my devs. I know what y'all do. I know what y'all want. At this point, man, listen. If you don't say nothing, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And that ain't me. So that's all I got, man. On a positive note, <laughs> I got to say this. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Cut on your notifications. Hit that like button. You know I got more coming. Catch y'all later. Peace.